Hey guys, it's Robbie here from Los Angeles, the owner of AirbrushMasterclass.com. I am hopping on here guys today to talk about uh, a topic um, briefly, and that is collar theory. So I teach this uh, pretty extensively in my masterclass, but I wanted to hop on here guys and touch base with you and discuss collar theory. I'm going to go over it a little bit, uh, answer your questions. Guys, I'm going to be honest with you. I, I have seen a lot of makeup artists um, that are struggling with color theory. And color theory, guys, is the number one thing that you need to understand as a professional makeup artist. Without understanding this color wheel, you cannot... Uh, minimize things that you don't want to see such as dark circles under the eyes or or bruises or you know vitiligo or you know kind of all these skin issues hi guys thanks for tuning in so stay tuned we're going to go over this color wheel I'm going to show you some easy tips and tricks and how to understand it uh, we're going to go over this cryolon pamphlet as well in color theory I'm going to go over a few uh, temp 2 products that I love to use when it comes to uh, airbrushing and uh, using color theory to do what I need to do to create certain to warm up a foundation, to cool down a foundation, to customize shades, make a certain eyeshadow, all that good stuff. Um, so uh, color theory is super super important to me guys probably because I've come from a background and my hairstylist number one guys and you know, as hair, when you do hair color, you really have to understand uh, the color wheel and color theory. So, let's get started. Um, you know, I before I, actually before I get started, I do get, I've gotten questions sometimes that make me that's what made me want to do this little live for you guys in color theory is, for example, I've gotten questions from makeup artists that would say. Quote, what is the best full coverage under eye concealer for dark circles? Well, here's the thing, guys. If you understand your color wheel, you do not have to use super heavy full coverage under the eyes for dark circles. If you use color theory, they will be erased with just the lightest little amount of makeup. All right, so here we go. So... This is super important to have in your kit as a makeup artist. This is a color wheel, guys. You can get this at Michael's or anywhere. It really helps to... Um, I even keep one in my kit. It helps remind you of, you know, when you need to cancel out certain tones or cover certain things or, you know, if you want to complement this eye shadow or this, uh, you want to complement this eye uh, color, etc. This is super important. So on our color wheel, the top half are our cool shades, and the bottom half are our warm shades. Um, super explanatory, right? Um, also, on our color wheel, you will see that we have our three primary shades of red, blue, and yellow here. And I'll show you in makeup form, or even more specifically, airbrush form. So we have our blue, red, and yellow. Guys, these two three shades are considered our primary shades. Primary shades make up every other shade in the universe. By customizing and mixing these, you make every other shade. So these are our primary shades. We're taking it back to elementary school, guys. Primary shades. Now, mixed equal parts, these shades can create what's called secondary shades. Our secondary shades are orange, green, and violet. So, taking it back to elementary school, like I said here, guys. If you have any questions, just let me know, by the way. So, to create purple, we mix equal parts red and blue. That will create violet, a secondary shade. To create green, we mix equal parts blue and yellow. That will create the secondary shade green. If we mix equal parts red and yellow, we get orange, uh, our secondary shade. Now guys, this is just basic theory, basic color theory. Some of you watching may already know all this, but I'm doing this for the people that need a little help and just need someone to just, just sit down and explain them to them and how to mix properly. 
close color theory is super, super important. You guys know that. So we know our primary shades are these. Our secondary shades are made from combining... Wait, we got a little blurry. There we go. Once again, primary shades, secondary shades are mixing these two together. For example, violet mixed together, orange mixed together, and then green mixed together. Now, those are our secondary shades. Our, our next level of shades are our tertiary shades. So tertiary shades are, for example, like blue-violet, red-violet, red-orange, yellow-green, and those different shades. Kind of, they are in between the secondary shades. So, for example, if we wanted to make a red-orange, a tertiary shade. So, first you would create your orange with equal parts red and yellow, right? And then to make it red-orange, you just add another drop of red, and that'll take it to red-orange, a tertiary color. So, Guys, color theory, super, super important. Have one of these in your kit. Um, for example, let's go here. I'll show you this product from Temp2. This is the SB Neutralizer Wheel. So this is what you would use for, you know, vetiligo, really deep, dark under eye circles, bruising, kind of all that stuff. This is going to do a lot of the work for you without you having to lay down a thick, heavy concealer. Um, I just hear this so, so much. People all, always say, and even some of my students in the past, is this full coverage? Is it full coverage? If you understand color theory and understand undertone and how to erase things that you don't want to see, guys, you do not need full coverage concealers and foundations. You're just adding layers and layers of makeup, making them feel like heavy that's not needed. By the way, that's why I love airbrush, is lightweight, right? But... We're not going to talk much about airbrush today. We're talking all about color theory. So this little wheel here, some people that aren't uh, uh, ex experienced or really comfortable with color theory, they may see this and be like, what do I do with this? What do I do with this? Okay, so let's see here. So first color is green. Green. So if we look at our color wheel right here, here is green. The opposite of green on the color wheel is red. So the opposite color of each one of these shades is number one, its complementary shade, and the shade that will cancel it out when layered on top. So for example, this green is going to cancel out, boom, red. So green is probably the most widely used corrector in the, the beauty industry if you're a makeup artist because a lot of people have rosacea and redness and all that good stuff. Um, also, not only will it cancel out when laid on top of one another, they will also complement one another. So for example, if someone has green eyes, the most complementary shade of eyeshadow that will bring out her green eyes is red, or somewhere within that uh, category, a warm shadow, red, red, orange, and maybe even orange. So next we have yellow. See, here's our yellow in our corrector, our corrector wheel. Right here, we see yellow on our color wheel. Directly across is violet, violet. So this is how you would, you would use this yellow to correct any violet undertones, any, any bruising that's, that's violet or purple, um, any dark circles that's uh, violet or purple under there. All right, what else do we have here? Uh, we have, oh look, here's peach. So what would we use peach to correct? Peach, so peach is going to live in this family right here. So peach is going to be blue or blue-violet that it will correct. Uh, pink here, this is pink. So pink is going to correct any green, okay? So super, super important, guys. If you know your color theory, you can really erase problems of the skin without having to layer heavy, heavy layers of what everyone's saying. What's the fullest coverage you have? Oh, it drives me crazy. I'm just being honest with you guys. Um, so that's that. Um, also, we have black and white. Okay, Black and white, if you're a hairstylist, this would represent levels of darkness. For a makeup artist, this represents... Uh, tone and shade. 
I'm sorry, tint and shade. So here's the thing, anytime you add white to a color, it's then become a tint. Anytime you add dark to a color, it's then become a shade. So for example, if we are want to create pink, red, and white, we've then created a uh, tint to create pink. So really, really fun. You can get creative, guys. You can make whatever shade you want. Um, when I used to, uh, when I used to work for a company where I was hired to be the, the head developer for their airbrush line that was carried in Paul Mitchell schools around the country, guess what? The only thing their kits included was a master collection of foundation, a warm, a cool shimmer, and then a color theory collection like this with a black and white. So I made them create every lip color, every eyeshadow shade, every blush shade, etc. That way I was forcing them to really get comfortable with color theory and mixing and, and doing all this stuff. Um, something else, guys, as a, as a professional makeup artist, I uh, don't fall into this kind of prosumer kind of... Uh, I don't know how the, you, you know, some brands are really good making you, some brands are really good making you think you need absolutely everything. But if you have a good color, color theory collection, guys, you can make everything. Uh, for example, if you wanted to create like a, a lilac, uh, a lilac purple shimmer eyeshadow, you may not have it in your kit, but I can make it with blue, red, so I just made my purple, and then I would add some white to take it to lilac. So that lilac then would be considered a tint. It would be matte at that point. And to bring it shimmer, I would just add a few drops of my shimmer. So that's that. Uh, by the way, guys, this collection from Temp2, the Color Theory Collection is what I like to call it, um, is actually called the SB Adjuster Starter Set comes with these three shades, black and white, and it's called the SB Adjuster Starter Set. I always tell my students how important this collection is to have. And what I like about airbrushing, of course, for you people that are following me, for my followers that are airbrushers, is that, guess what? It's so easy to mix with airbrush. I just put two drops red in, two drops blue, back bubble mix, and I just created purple right in my brush. So I don't have to have lots of palettes of mixing and this and that. Same thing when you're mixing, when you're doing your foundations. If you put your foundation drops in here and you're like, oh, I wish it was a little warmer. Well, guess what? I can add a little drop of red, a little drop of yellow, back bubble, and I just customize the foundation for my client. Super, super easy. Um, what else? Um, oh, okay. I wanted to show you guys this. I picked this up at... Oh, thank you so much. I'll wave at you guys. I picked this up at um, Cinema Secrets in Los Angeles a couple weeks ago. Uh, this is a really, really nice book. If you, It's from Cryolon. I think if you contact Cryolon, they probably will maybe even send this to you for free. I'm not for sure. Uh, but it is full of valuable valuable information. Of course, we have our color wheel. Um, hey. <laughs> um, it has our cool and our warm. It has our primary shades, our secondary shades, and our tertiary shades all here. Um, we talk about cool colors and warm colors. We talk about hue. Basically, hue is just another word for color. So every color on this page, on this color wheel, is considered a hue. Um, we talked about tint. So tint is when you add white to a shade to lighten it. So that's considered a tint. Uh, we talked about shade. Shade is when you add either black or gray to darken a shade. Um, so really, really great. And it goes into more depth information talking about each color, each primary shade, each secondary. So this was just a great little pamphlet and really, really nice to have. So, yeah, so where are you guys from? Tell me where you're from. Thanks for tuning in. So, um, making sure I went over, over everything. Once again, this is just a basic uh, color theory class I wanted to go over with you guys. Um, 
you learn this and much more, of course, in uh, my live streaming masterclass. Not only where you, we go over color theory and uh, choosing and, and color matching and all that good stuff, you will learn how to master your airbrush. And what I teach you in my class is to go beyond airbrush foundation, blush, and highlight. You will know how to do a cut crease, smoky eye, winged eyeliner, liquid eyeliner, absolutely everything with this airbrush wand. I'm going to show you how to recreate any traditional look with the airbrush in less than half the time. And if you guys are like me, you know you love the beauty industry, but guess what? Time is money. The faster you are, the more money you can make, especially if you're in the bridal mm -hmm. industry. You, um, if you're not able to do six or seven traditional girls, well guess what? Airbrush, cut your time in less than half, and now you can. You don't have to pass up those jobs. Uh, so definitely check out my class for uh, airbrush makeup. Um, it's been a skill that's been really, really good to me in my career. I created this company two years ago to where I can share this skill. Um, you know, what I only used to teach to you know makeup artists in Los Angeles, you know, in the film and TV industry or celebrity makeup artists. I decided two years ago that I was going to break outside of the walls of Los Angeles and Hollywood and share a lot of my secrets that's used here in Hollywood and that is airbrush makeup to artists globally who you know are, who can't necessarily make it to see me in Los Angeles for a in person the next best thing is to have a live streaming class with me my live streaming airbrush master class is a private one-on-one -on -one. So it's not in a group, it's not pre-recorded material, it's just me and you. Um, I do have to think uh, it's important that I do tell you guys though that I do book, book out about six to eight weeks in advance and I do only take eight students a month. So I are booked up for the next couple months, but if you want to get on the, my schedule, um, yeah, just send me a DM. You can apply for one of my courses, 101, 102, or the Airbrush Masterclass. Uh, right on our website, just visit airbrushmasterclass.com. So that was a big spiel. <laughs> just trying to get everything out. All right, so where are you guys from? Nice, need to get that. Pittsburgh, Baltimore. Uh, Pittsburgh is a beautiful little town. I've worked there a couple times. Uh, beautiful. Baltimore, Maryland. Hey, East Coast. I'm from the East Coast originally. I'm sure you guys are hearing in my voice. You're like, wait a minute, this guy does not sound like he's from Los Angeles. He sounds like he is from the South somewhere, and I am from the South. I am from good old West Virginia, uh, born and raised. Uh, I've lived in Los Angeles for about six years. Before that, I lived in Virginia Beach for six years where I went to beauty school. Uh, do you plan on coming to... Baltimore, D.C. No, no. The the only tour I have going on right now is our Latin America tour. Um, but the majority of what I do is live streaming classes, private one-on-one. So, um, Essa Loca 68 um, just check out the website and look at the three courses. Um, and, you know, don't take my word for it. Google who we are. Google my name. Look at my reviews for my students. I'm so happy to say that I am five stars all across the board. I have a passion for sharing this with fellow beauty professionals. It can really help you become a niche specialist in your area when you do full face beauty airbrush. I'm not talking just airbrush foundation, blush, and highlight, guys. Like I said, I'm talking about you even learning airbrush eyeliner techniques with me. So let's see here. So I'm going to go over this one more time, and then would anyone like to go live with me? I would love to take your class. Makeup by Tara. Just check out airbrushmasterclass.com. Click on the link in the bio and all course information is right there. So I'm going to go over this color theory one more time with you guys just to make sure you got it. Um, but would anyone like to come live with me? We can chat. We can talk about makeup. We can talk about airbrush makeup. We can talk about color theory. Whatever you want. Just let me know. So back to uh, our color wheel. We're just going to do a quick refresher. Okay. Definitely, guys, have one of these in your kit. They will help you. Primary shades are blue, yellow, and red. These three shades make up every color in the world, right? Mixed equal parts, these shades then create what's called secondary colors. So secondary colors made from mixing blue and uh, yellow together to make green. Secondary color orange is made by mixing red and yellow together. And secondary color violet is made by mixing 
blue and red together. Those are secondary shades. Our tertiary shades are mixing uh, a secondary and a primary together. For example, if we wanted to create a red-orange, that is a that is on the third level and that is called a tertiary shade. So red-orange will be made from number one, we make our orange first, right? Equal parts red and yellow. Then to make it red-orange, just add a little bit more red to take it to red-orange. And you do the same thing, whether it be you know yellow-green, yellow-orange, red-violet, blue-violet, you just add a little bit more of the primary shade. Um, also, um, our tint and our shade. So our tint and our shade. So black is considered a shade. White is considered a tint. So for example, if we make uh, purple from equal parts of these two, red and blue, we can create a tint or a light purple by adding a little bit of white, right? We can also then create a shade like a dark purple by adding a drop of black, okay? So the possibilities are endless. Um, you can also, when you make these shades, you can drip in, drop in a few drops of shimmer to create a shimmer eyeshadow, a lip color, a blush, whatever. Possibilities are endless. Get creative. Have fun. You do not have to have every color palette ever the brand ever makes because if you know your color theory, you can make things that you need. Um, SB Corrector Wheel, this is really good for skin issues, dark circles, and I showed you this little color theory uh, pamphlet that I did pick up at Cinema Secrets in Los Angeles a week or so ago. It's from Cryolon. Um, contact them. It's really, really great. They may give it to you for free. I'm not for sure. If not for free, I'm sure it couldn't be that much. So this goes over a lot of the things that I just talked about. So really, really nice to have in your kit. All right. So love the color wheels. Hi, Ashley is a student. Hi, Ashley. How are you? Ashley, do you want to come live with me right now? Let's chat. One more thing, guys, I want to suggest is if you feel that you really need help with advanced color theory, I want you to check out my friend Terry Tomlinson's class. Uh, she has basically reinvented the color wheel for makeup artists. She has a product called the Flesh Tone Color Wheel. Um, and just Google her. She's super big. She's super big. She's, she's in Cinema Secrets and Friends and here in Los Angeles. She's part of the Powder Group, uh, which the groups I'm in. Uh, so check her out if you need more help with advanced color theory. She has a one hour uh, live streaming color theory class. So check her out. Alright, let's see, Ashley. Ashley, I'm going to invite you. I'd like to go live with you. Let's chat. I'm going to give you a... <laughs> right now we're just having fun. So what do you guys think of color theory? Are you comfortable with it? Do you feel that you need extra help? Her name again, please. It's Terry, T-E-R-R-I, Tomlinson, T-O-M-L-I-N-S-O-N. -S Terry Tomlinson. And I think her website is MakeupTrainingAcademy.com. She has a school in Dallas, Texas, but she does teach a one-hour live streaming uh, color theory class, which is really important. Hi. Hey. How are you? Grand. How are you? Good. 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 Uh, how, how's the weather over there on your side of the country? It, it's good. It's good. <laughs> I have two crazy boys outside right now, so I'm just kind of chilling on my patio. Yeah, how chilling. Are you? Are, did they just get out of school? Uh, no, they don't start till Monday. Oh, okay. So they're just getting the last little bit of summer. Yes, and Mama has a whole new world coming to her because I'll be home with no kids. So this will be a new adventure. Oh, yes, yeah. yes. That's that's probably when our class is scheduled, isn't it? It's Yeah, in a couple of weeks, I think. Yeah, yeah. I have to look at my calendar, but yeah. Yeah. So what did you – I just wanted to go live today just to – because, you know, I, 
I see a lot of makeup artists struggling with, you know, just kind of basic color theory. Yeah. You know, kind of the things that we kind of forgot from elementary school. Yeah. You know, but it, wouldn't you agree it's super important to understand theory? Um, yes. Just from being a hairstylist also, yeah, that's the main key to, I think, anything um, is your color theory because you have to know what um, colors counteract each other and what you need to cancel out before you actually even start your face. Like you want yeah, exactly. to correct everything before you start your platform or your base there. So, yeah, I think it's yeah. very important. Yeah, and it's just, you know, simple things like knowing what – eyeshadow is going to complement the dress that she's wearing yeah. or you know what what eyeshadow is going to complement her uh eye color the most yes you know sure. yep um <laughs> sorry so are, are you excited i know your your class with me is scheduled i think in uh my calendar's over here a couple sure. weeks are you excited yes i am very excited my model that I'm going to be using is my backdoor neighbor. She's actually um, going to be graduating high school this year, and she is um, going into this. So I'm like, you'd be totally perfect as a model. So she is, she is, uh, she's very excited. And I'm excited yeah. because she can kind of learn a little bit and be a model. And yeah. Yeah. So she, so she, she's going to go to cosmetology school, yeah, or she wants to. Yeah, she's a senior this year, and she's going to be graduating. And yeah. So. Sorry. Yeah. Are they loud in the background? No, it's fun. It's fun. That we're, you know, we're just real. We're just, you know, just last minute. You know, I didn't even plan to do this live, and then I, I was just happy to look. I just looked at the corner of my, uh, of my workstation, and I saw this. I picked up at Cinema Secrets um, a couple weeks ago, and yeah, and then I you know, I had, got, yeah. I had gotten some messages from people about like, what's the best full coverage concealer for under eyes, and I was just like, oh, let's get on here and do just a little color theory. 101. Yeah. So I need to contact them. They'll send, do you think they'll send, send people a free one or um, just contact for this? Try on? Yeah. I, I'm not for sure. I just happened to, I was at Cinema Secrets and they had a, like a stack of these at the Cryolon, at the Cryolon booth. Yeah. And I just, I just picked it up. Okay. Uh, I knew it was pretty valuable. But I think if you contact Cryolon and, you know, ask them about this little color theory pamphlet, they might send it, they might send it to you for free or even if, you know, they might just it's charge you. Skip, yeah, that's skip, totally yeah, but it's, it's, a, it's a really, really good handy. little book to have. Um, you know, just, you know, oh, just yeah. a, little re a little refresher, right? And, like little things like that. Like I feel like I know a little bit, you know, just from self-teaching myself, but I'm so excited to see what I don't know yet from you like i'm so excited to see what you teach me so yeah oh it makes me i'm excited. super excited well, you're gonna you're gonna learn like i always tell i just got off the phone with a lady a little bit ago and she was asking well you know what makes your class different or you know i'm looking at other classes and this and that and you know i i i, I you know i educated her or you know told her well in my class, especially the master class, I'm going to teach you everything I know about airbrushing and how to recreate any traditional look with the airbrush. Yeah. You know, yeah. Most, and you you know, you, you did your research before you chose me, I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, most airbrush workshops, you know, you only get foundation and maybe blush and highlight. Mm -hmm. And, mm -hmm. you know, you're they're still using a lot of traditional makeup. For me, one of the benefits of airbrush is I don't have to use a lot of traditional makeup. I can have a smaller kit. And if, if I can teach my students, you know, full face, like seriously, like, you know, eyeshadows and eyeliners and brows in, in less than half the time. And honestly, in my opinion, I think airbrush eyeshadow is more blended <laughs> than traditional. Then why not? And it's just... Um, like I told you, it's been a skill that's been good to me, and I have a passion for teaching this to mm -hmm. fellow artists, you know, yeah, all over the creating. world. Yeah, you, it's amazing what you can create with just just that, like just temperature brands, and like you said, the all the colors, like that. I'm I'm just excited just to see what I can all do. Like it's yeah. It's yeah, it's we're, we're, we're gonna we're gonna usually what I do because most of my students have been airbrushing a while. Yeah, and but what I do is we take I take a novice airbrusher, 
we're going to take you to a master, right? Yeah. Yeah. Heck yeah. And, you know, well, you know actually, being from small town, small town in Ohio, I'm like, I'm not too many people do airbrush. And it kind of surprises me, like, not too many people, like, know about it or haven't heard of it. I'm like, I feel like I've known about it for a little bit, but um, it's coming more and more, more and more popular. Um, but, yeah, it's it's just so nice because you don't have to worry about your whole collection of all these brushes. And yeah. it, it's, like you said, small, compact kit, and you can do all this stuff. You can do all this stuff with it. And, you know, you know what you said of, like, you know, airbrush, you, you kind of starting to hear about it more and more. A lot of people don't know that, you know, airbrush has been used in Hollywood for 40 years. Yeah. It, it's, it was, it's been, it's been on in the TV industry for since 1980. Yeah. It's crazy how it's just, how it's just becoming popular. Like, or yeah, popular, you know? yeah, exactly. And you know what, what for the past 30 or 40 years was, you, you know, only for film artists or, you know, celebrity artists, yeah. you know, yep. is now, you know, available for, you know, makeup artists to learn this technique, you know, worldwide now, thanks to, you know, thanks to brands such as Temp2 that's really, you know, you know, pushed and, you know, tried to, to let everyone know that, hey, you know, you don't necessarily have to be a working makeup artist in Hollywood to give airbrush to your clients, you know, yeah. a bri bridal artist, you know, your bridal clients deserve the same yep. treatment that, you know, once only celebrities were able to get. Yeah. It's awesome. And it's all because <laughs> of you. We'll just be even better. <laughs> Aw, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You, thank you, you. are. You're, I mean, I haven't even done a class yet, but just chatting with you, it's, it's, it's fun. <laughs> I'm excited. So. Yeah. Yeah. My, and you saw, I, you know, I only take like eight to 10 students a month. So I keep our, our, our community is really nice and tight. And, you know, when you, when you finish your class with me, you're going to be in our al private alumni group too. So yeah. you'll meet, you'll meet even more people. A lot of artists I've trained all over the world that, you know, do lots of different things. So you'll be able to, you know, network and, you know, all that good stuff yep. too. Yeah, well, it was fun chatting with you a little bit. Sorry if there was a lot going on. No, no, this was fun. This was fun. I always like to do these little impromptu things, and um, I can't wait to see you in class. We're going to have a great class. You're going to learn a lot, yeah, I'm and um, I'll see you real soon, okay? Sounds good. Thank you. Bye. Yeah, bye. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks so much for tuning in. That was Ashley. Ashley is actually – um, an upcoming student of mine a couple weeks from now, and she is located, I think, on the East Coast. Uh, so, so yeah. So, if you guys are interested in having your own airbrush masterclass with me featuring Temp2, and you want to go beyond a novice airbrusher to a master and learn full face beauty airbrush, and yes, that even includes shadows, brows, and eyeliner, just hit the link in my bio airbrushmasterclass.com and click on courses and you can apply right there hope you guys have a great evening and i'll talk with you real soon bye